Hello student, previously we had learned about canonical correlation analysis. So now, we will see the multidimensional scaling by classical approach. This video will explain to you what is the classical multidimensional analysis and the example of it. Enjoy the video! Today we will learn about the multidimensional scaling. Uh, we go through about the classical MDS, that is multidimensional scaling. So next. First, uh, we want to about the classical uh, multidimensional scaling. This can be considered to be the an alternative to the factor analysis. So the difference between the multidimensional scaling and the factor analysis is the MDS in the concept of distance, that is similarity and dissimilarity between the investigated object and the factor analysis is the similarities between the object that we express in the correlation metric. In classical MDS, the data are not uh, distant as measured from a map but are rather proximity, that's uh, similarity and dissimilarity data or metric. So the, the objective of the MDS is to determine the, the dimension of a model so that the model will give a good fit for the observed proximity. So if the dimension you get two, three, or more. So then, uh, algorithm for the classical MDS, uh, we get we have the this formula that is B equal to the x the error data times is the x transpose, and then for the the element of uh, BIK is the element of the B. So the element you calculate from the from this formula that is uh, summation of i k times with the uh, i j k from the k equal to one to the q. So this is the square distance uh, square distance that we want to calculate that is v uh, i r plus b j j minus two b i j. Then after we go through about the raw data uh, and then we do analysis we get a new B that is the V1 times the lambda 1 and the V1 times post where the V1 is the content of the first Q eigenvector and then the lambda 1 is the non-zero again value so the this is the um, coordinates and then x is equal to the v1 times the square root of lambda 1 where the lambda 1 is the value of square root of eigenvalue so after that we want to find the m dimensional that represent by the size of the proportion so if the value of the proportion uh, is 0 0.8 so it suggests a reasonable fit now as you had understood the concept of classical multidimensional scaling, we will proceed with the example so that you can see the application of classical MDS. Then I will continue about the topic, the classical multidimensional scaling. So I will show you to all of you uh, the way how to uh, make multidimensional scaling using R. So X is a metric of so we insert the metric into R by using this command. So you can see the number of row 10, number of column 5, by row through. You, you learn all of this in computing classes. And next. So we, we got the distance matrix by the function distance x. So we get the distance of the matrix. We use by using the CMD scale function, we set k equal to 2. Therefore, we get um, 2 points and we get the eigenvalues positive up to 7. Next, we, we also next we plug the eta the, and we, we believe that 7, 6, and 10 have relationship. Uh, we use the CMD scale function and this time we set k equal to 9. 
uh, we get the eigen value positive up to 7 so we get this output why you have to do the proportion we do the proportion to find the optimal number of dimension previously we get the eigen value positive up to 7 so uh, we need only 3 value to get the optimal number of dimension so the optimal number of dimension is 3 so you had see what is classical multi-dimension analysis and its example now we had arrived at the end of this video we hope that you will understand this topic clearly if you have any questions please leave the comment below like and share our video until we meet again <laughs>